Hi guys, I am backstage at the Opio Victoria Theatre today talking to Sophie Evans who is playing Glinda in Wicked. Yay. Hello! Hello! Um, it's freezing cold outside, it's <laughs> snowing so I'm keeping my hat on. Um, luckily the trains weren't delayed yet. How was the bubble? The bubble's always on time. Okay. Always. Doesn't, that's why you might freeze over. Oh gosh, imagine I get stuck if they don't. That would be <laughs> um, Now, Back in 2012, when I started my blog, westernworld.com, um, I used to print out these um, kind of questions and I'd send them off in the post to people at the stage door and say, could you um, fill out these interview questions yeah. and send them back to me? And then I used to put them online. It's all very cute before I knew anything about what to do. And you did one when you were I in The Wizard of Oz. Is. And I'm in the process of moving house at the moment, so I found it the other you day. You found it! Um, because, you know what I'm going to say, because I tweeted about it the other yeah. day. Under the question, what West End show would you love to be on, you said Wicked. I wasn't lying. Um, <laughs> and here we are five years later in Wicked. How, how does it feel? How did it all come about? Very, I'm still pinching myself and every now and again I have the moment of, I'm in Wicked. And it's just the most amazing feeling in the world because I would have been 18 years old writing that. Yeah. And Wicked was just the show that I came to see when I was like 15, 16 that just made me go, this is amazing. I want to do this. Um, so when I was getting older, and obviously I was so lucky to, to do The Wizard of Oz and the TV program and things, but Wicked was always the show that made me think I want to do musical theatre. Um, and I was watching back some of your, um, what's it called? Find a Dorothy. Over the program. rainbow, yeah. Um, and some of the songs that you did in it, because one of the questions um, I put on Twitter, has anyone got any questions? And someone said, oh, would you like to do the kind of play Alpha Bar yeah. as well as Glinda? And I think you've got the voice. You could play both, I think. Don't go off Over the Rainbow. My, God, <laughs> my voice back and it, it's changed a lot. I've matured. But okay. yeah, um, I mean, I'd like? love to. I'd love to. But at the, this point in my life, Just I focus think. Focus on Glinda. Focus on Glinda. But being Alpha takes even more mature and I think for example like Alice is, is a bit older than me and her voice is just so powerful so I would hope that my voice would mature to that kind of level because she's a force yeah she's incredible yeah she's incredible I think she's she's the best elf of I've ever seen I'm not, not I biased I, I totally know I agree shouldn't, I know I shouldn't say these things but they've all um, been amazing obviously yeah. like all of them I've seen but a no, lot I've said publicly before she's um and she won the best understudy award at the yeah. Wilmer Awards yeah. um a few weeks ago um well, then now she's full time. So, um, Wicked, for anyone who hasn't seen it, what's it all about? Wicked is the untold stories of the Witches of Oz, and it's basically, I think, to not read, judge a book by its cover is the, is the main story we're trying to convey because obviously everyone has this premise of the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz and Glinda being the good witch, and that's just how it was. But this, in this story, we try and tell the different sides to people and how people can be perceived completely wrong and especially in this day and age I think it is really relevant because people can be perceived as one thing and be going through something completely different behind yeah. closed doors so that's why I think the show has always remained relevant because it will always be true um, and obviously the two girls it's about forgiveness and friendship and female empowerment and I love to share the stage with someone like Alice and we both indulge in the show so much and when it comes to that moment of for good and realizing that our friendship will win all and is bigger than all is so special um and i don't know if you've heard but over in australia they're now doing the wizard of oz yes I and have, yeah. the two witches that played glinda and alphabet are in wicked are now playing the roles in the wizard of oz <laughs> which is an unknown thing that's never been done but i guess you're the first person in this country to be able to look at the show from the perspective having been in The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. So how did you approach kind of the character? Did you have to put everything you knew from The Wizard of Oz behind or did something yes, help Yes, kind you? of. Yeah, kind of because they are very different. The way we had lovely, the lovely Emily Teeny as our Glinda the Good Witch and it was just very, uh, I'm good, this is me. Um, a front that was played in The Wizard of Oz but obviously in this there's a lot more to it. You see Glinda as a youngster and how she learns and changes whereas you don't see that in The Wizard of Oz. So. I came into the show with an open mind and obviously I've seen lots of other ladies play Glinda and wanted to bring Sophie to it so hopefully that's what I do, yeah. And do you ever, there's a bit in Wicked where um, Elphaba's got Dorothy under the under the floorboards yeah. and she's 
Do you ever listen to that and just think... That was me. Yeah. <laughs> I do. It must Literally. be a mind What a bubble. whiny little girl she is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have I feel very lucky to have seen... To be in a production like The Wizard of Oz, original cast and things, and see how that evolves, and then to come into a show that's so established like Wicked, um, and, re and think I was the character that they all talk about, you know, that young girl with the runaway with the shoes and things. It's quite ironic. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, you got to meet the original Glinda, I Christian did. Chenoweth. Yeah. Um, I saw the video online. I'll put a link in the description below if you haven't seen it to when they had a chat. Um, how was that? Just an amazing experience. She was the nicest woman I've ever met and so complimentary. And we had a lot in common and we really bonded over the show. We both are massive, massive Wicked fans. And she was just a gem. She FaceTimed my mother with me. She was so normal. I know that sounds so silly to say because she's just a normal person, but she was so down to earth and she was so complimentary. The whole cast, she was individually picking people up, going, I could see your character, see your character. So you can see that it's been such a big part of her life and it still is. Mm. Yeah, I met her as well. She's um, lovely. I can only imagine how nice it must have been oh, to talk about was. a Very character awesome. that you've both um, yeah. played. Um, now, one thing, whenever I ask people online what they want to know, the thing that always comes up is on stage mishaps. <laughs> okay. um, not necessarily from this show, but yeah. if there are any from this show, what kind of things have happened? Um, I mean, Forgetting Lines is always quite a funny one. In the show the other day, I just I was down on the cog in Chiz and I completely forgot to come in and one of the girls had to hit me with her suitcase. <laughs> and obviously anything that's... Because the show is obviously... People do their lines differently and people react and things. But in general terms, it's the same every night, you know, the same lines, everyone does their bit of the same parts. and. So if anything little happens, it's really strange. It throws the whole scene. Um, but I remember one specific one from The Wizard of Oz where Toto, our lovely little dog, decided to go to the toilet on stage in front of two and a half thousand people. And it was a showstopper. And a little munchkin had to come on with a pooper scooper and clean it up. Oh no. Yeah. Well, that's uh, never worked with children and animals. No, and I've done say. the both, so <laughs> that's fine. Um, have you got any other dream roles that you'd like to play? Um, I would love to be Miss Honey in Matilda. Yes. Um, there's lots of things I'd like to do. I want to do another album and stuff, but character-wise, Fontaine and Les Mis, yeah. there's a lot of characters I'd love to get my teeth into, but who knows? If I'm lucky enough, then amazing. But this was the role that I thought, if I never... Even if I... I just wanted to be in Wicked. I didn't really think Glinda would come so soon, so if I could have been in the ensemble, just any part of the show, to feel the magic. And I've been lucky enough to get the one I really wanted. Um, one more question, but firstly the most important question, where did you put my tea? Oh, it's there! Oh. <laughs> Good vibes! Here we go. And I also have one. Glitter runs through my veins. No. I've got one, oh, I don't even know what it's called. It's it's a wizard. It's from the Wizard of Oz. Okay. I'll get you my pretty. Oh, it's like nice. a pink thing. Yeah, it's quite in my scary. mother's cupboard at the moment. I just saw it today. Um, so why should people come and see Wicked? It's it's been on for like years and years and years. Doesn't show any signs of stopping. No, it what's doesn't. the what's the one reason you think people should book to see it? I think it's for everybody. There's something in it for everybody. You can learn something. It can teach you things about yourself you didn't know. The songs are just amazing. It's a spectacle. You will leave with a smile on your face. And if you don't, I'd be very surprised. Um, someone did ask, what's your favourite Alphabet song? My favourite? No Good Deed. Yeah, me too. And listening to Alice sing it is just amazing. So, yeah. Um... Yeah. Definitely not good. To be fair, Divine Gravity is the showstopper and the end of the first half, I literally look up and I, I, I was ill a week, a couple of weeks ago and I had a week off and I came back on the Monday and after that I ran off and went, I love this show because oh. that song just makes goosebumps yeah. all over my body and yeah. yeah, and I get to see her fly up on that really scary crane. <laughs> There you go. What more reason do you need to come and see Wicked? Um, I will put a link in the description below, as always. I sound like I'm drunk. I can't get my words out. Um, <laughs> to where you can buy tickets. Like um, do come and see Sophie and Alice and the whole cast um, in Wicked the Musical. Uh, thank you so much for thank talking you. to me today. Thank you. It was really fun. Thank and, you. And um, see you soon. Cheers. Yeah.